Hi, in this video I want to run through the features or the new features in the latest version of Stokus. Uh, we're now on version 1.1 and the first one and the most requested one is a record feature. As you can see here, um, we've got a record button. Now, by clicking on it, it goes into standby mode and is ready then to receive MIDI notes as I play. Um, a little thing to quickly notice is be careful of your pass-through MIDI data setup. I've got it set to all because I want to hear the instrument that's in my door. Um, but if you're running on a, a short loop and you hit record in your door, Stokus can play back what you're playing in and the notes on the grid depending on your other settings. Have a look at the options video that I've got and you'll understand a little bit more about it. And if you hear that, you'll know that this might be something you need to come back and look at. But for now, I'm just going to hit play. Let's go back to the start of the door. And here we go. Now, as you can see, Stokus looped around, and this is one of those things that you have to be aware of. Um, one of my workflows is to actually increase the number of steps. And as you can see, these last few notes on the end overlapped the end of the total number of steps. So Stokus wrapped them back around. But now, because I've increased the number of steps, it's taking them back to a normal way of playing them back. And this brings me on to our next feature. We've now included a horizontal scroll. So as you can see here, this yellow end of bar indicator or the the end of the steps per measure that I had, it's now uh, scrollable. So you can see things like this a little bit easier. It also makes chaining with notes a little bit easier if you want to chain over the 16 steps whereas before we had the uh, the locked views. The next thing to be aware of or the, our next feature is a playback indicator. So I've, I've got polyphonic notes here so four, two and, and whatnot. Um, I'm going to zoom in as well and have a look at the the notes, if I get this right, uh, or the, the grid, you'll see like a little dark uh, section at the end of each of the note that's just been played. Okay, so Stokus will hold that note whilst it's playing so you can see which notes have been played. The next feature that I want to highlight in, in this update is an undo feature. It's only a single step and will, or sorry, does include um, actions on the layer options and, and, and things down here. So be aware that if you do click on something and then click here, the undo is not a chain of undos like you probably expect. It's more for a catch that if you accidentally clear a whole pattern and, or a layer and that wasn't quite what you wanted to do, you wanted to clear the layer, in, for example, then that's what our undo feature is. Um, the final update and this was one that a lot of the users who use Stokus live or in live performances were asking for is automation. So all the parameters that are on the layer options are now um, automatable and because they're automatable that means you can assign these to 
a, a MIDI controller uh, depending on your door setup and you can control that using um, your controllers uh, in a live situation. So that's the major updates to Stokus. Uh, go out and have some fun and enjoy the new record feature. Bye-bye.